We're going to do some curl education today, and I'm going to walk you through the steps of the proper ways and the proper products to use to hydrate your curls and have your style be consistent from day to day and just have it be easier for you because curly hair can be very challenging. Yes. Do you struggle with frizz? Yes. I do have a little bit of frizz. How do you like to wear your hair? I like volume. I like my curls to be awesome. crazy. Me too. <laughs> We're going to cleanse your hair today with Diva Curl No Poo. It's a non-lathering cream cleanser. It's not going to have any bubbles at all, but it is going to have a really refreshing, tingling sensation. Then we're going to use Diva Curl One Condition, and I'm going to walk you through how to properly condition your hair so that when you style it, your curls are already defined. So now we're going to apply your styling product. The ideal position to be in is actually upside down. And so I'll have you go ahead and just flip your hair over. A lot of curly girls will leave their styling product in the shower with them so that once they're done cleansing and conditioning and rinsing, they can turn off the water and just flip their hair over right in the tub and avoid getting their bathroom floor soaked. We recommend leaving this much water in your hair, enough that you can hear that squishy sound. We're actually gonna use the water as essentially our first styling product. I'm gonna use two products today. The first one is Diva Curl Believe In. It's a curl plumper and volumizer. Um, it has somewhat of a serum sort of feeling to it. Believe In is a great product for a lot of different curl types. The second product I'm gonna use is Diva Curl Archangel. And again, I have just enough to coat my hands. And now I'm just gonna gently glaze this over. It has a very light hold. Now, Jerry has more high porosity hair, and what that means is that she actually will not have a lot of water that comes out when she scrunches it. And I'm using a microfiber towel to blot it. You can also use a cotton t-shirt or a paper towel. The reason that we use microfiber or cotton t-shirt is that it doesn't pull the product off of your hair. It also doesn't over dry it. Terry cloth is very absorbent. It has all those little nubs on it. And those little textured nubs can actually pull at your cuticle while you're pulling it away from your hair and cause frizz. Whereas microfiber and t-shirt material is very smooth. I think it's nice to tip side to side and let gravity help our hair fall rather than using our fingers too much and splitting things up. And I'll tip you to this side as well. Tipping to the side also helps us blot at the root and remove some of that excess water. I'm gonna take these Diva Curl clips and I'm gonna place them in at your root, just in a few select places on your scalp, and we'll keep these in as your hair dries. Really, wherever your hair is parting that day, you want to pinch an inch, open the clip a little bit, place it at the scalp so that you can feel it on your scalp, and then with the clip open, really just slide it across and have it meet the hair on the other side. This is great for giving you that no part look too, so that you don't end up with like a really like hard divide. This brings the part together and helps it dry with volume on both sides. Now all I had to do is just use four clips in a row and that got all down your part line. If you wanted to, you could put a few more clips on the interior here. You could put a couple in the, in the crown, but these are really the most essential clips for getting the volume that you want. So I'm gonna diffuse you today and I'm gonna use my amazing Dyson Supersonic hair dryer. I'm gonna do it on the lowest heat setting and I'm gonna use the basket to just cup your curls. You will always have more volume and body when you diffuse, but air drying is fine as well. I recommend starting at the scalp and really getting the roots started because again, the water is very trapped at your scalp and it takes the longest. So if you can get the root at least somewhat dry before you're out the door, you'll be a lot less uncomfortable while your hair dries. You'll also end up with more volume because there won't be the water weight on your root pulling the curl straight at the top. If you choose not to clip, using your fingers just very gently at the root to lift it while you dry it will also help to give you some volume. You could also do this in the flipped forward position or tipping side to side. All right, go ahead and flip your hair back. Drying your curls can definitely be the most frustrating part of having curly hair. 
So it's important that you find a method that works for you and works with your life. So it's time to take the clips out. So when you're taking your clips out, you really want to open up your hair gently so that you can find that tail end of the clip and gently pull it out. If you try to pull these out too quickly, they can get caught in your hair. Now we're gonna flip over again and shake it out and open up the curls a little bit. So go ahead and flip it over, gently slide your fingers in at your root. We're not gonna pull our fingers through our hair. We're just putting it up to our scalp and then we're gonna give it a gentle shake and just gently scrunch out any crunch and break away that gel cast so that your curls are just soft but defined. Go ahead and flip it back. Awesome. Look at this. What do you think? I love it. You can preserve this set that we did today so that you don't have to wash and style it again tomorrow by sleeping in a buff, sleeping on a satin pillowcase, sleeping in a satin bonnet, something that will protect your hair from the pillowcase and try to get it up off of the weight of your head so that it doesn't end up flat or frizzy from rolling on it at night. If you do something to prevent frizz while you're sleeping, you should easily be able to keep this set for the next two to three days, which is great not having to style it every day. Thanks for watching my styling video. I have so many more tips about curly hair to share with you, so please subscribe to my channel and stay tuned.